Good morning. It's Off the Couch Hobbyist coming back to you from our original spot from our very first vlog. Vlog. Things have changed just a little bit and we thought you'd want to take a look. It's about 6.30 in the morning and things are really quiet. And What day is it? Today is Friday by the 13th. 13th. But I don't care August. because I don't pay attention to that anymore since I'm retired. <laughs> So we just wanted to show you what changes um, our pumpkin plants have made. So we've brought you through most of the whole life of the season of our pumpkins. You watched us planting the little seeds in the house, germinating them inside. And then, and then planting them outside. And it looked like the areas that we planted them in were so huge with those little bitty plants and now the plants have pretty much taken over over the yard so we're going to go ahead and kind of pan through Karen's pumpkin patch and and Kathy's and my pumpkin patch and show you what's been happening thanks for tuning in enjoy yay all right so here's a pumpkin there's my hand for size now my pumpkins are all um the Heinz 57 they're made up of many different seeds from up to three years ago. Now you can see I've got some dry powdery mildew going on there. I'm going to spray some fertilome fungicide onto that leaves. That's just where Tim was watering the lawn and it was sprinkling on top of the leaves because I usually drip water from underneath. So you see the rest of the leaves that didn't get sprayed on are doing are in pretty good shape. So oh the flowers of the pumpkins are gorgeous and I guess they're edible. I've never tried it but that's just what I hear. Now I have these odd looking orange ones and that just could be the uh, seeds might have been germinated from a, a squash plant a couple of years ago. What? Oh, now you save seeds. oh, and I save seeds. I grab, I take the seeds out of the pumpkins and then I just dry them on a piece of paper, a uh, paper towel, and then I put them in a paper bag and that's all for seeds. I try to grab the biggest plumpest one. So there's my patch and it all connects because the bees love the pumpkin plants. They love those flowers so much. They just get down in there. I don't know what they do, but they're pollinating and they're having a blast. So thank you. So here's my pumpkin. Um, my patch is also out front and um, it's kind of taken over. So I have two different varieties. I have the regular, um, pumpkins and then also blue moon pumpkins and you can see those leaves that not powdery mildew the pumpkins that are um, veined are for the blue pumpkins or the Jaredell pumpkins so they're kind of a, a bluish green color and I've got every size and shape growing in my patch there's a one there but it's just so dark green you can't hardly see it and then I also have lots of blossoms and again, the bees love the blossoms. Oh, there's another little baby hiding in there. It's so much fun come fall when the leaves start to die and you can actually see how many pumpkins you have hiding in there. So since my um, pumpkins are out front, the only fence is the, the white um, fence that covers the yard. I'm gonna put some repels all around because we have a rather large deer population in our neighborhood. And then I do the spray repels all that and I spray the individual pumpkins themselves, but you have to reapply it after each rain or if it's really been dewy. And you know, there's all kinds of different brands and I've just found that this one seems to work pretty easily and it's easy to sprinkle around and don't get it on you or your clothes or else you won't be invited back in the house. And that's one thing I like about the granulars a little bit better than the spray. Even though they do stink, it doesn't quite stick to you quite as bad as the spray. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed that the deer don't get there. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.